This video will demonstrate how to properly unpack and assemble your Star Trek NXT cycle. Tools needed for this procedure will be a ratchet handle with a 4mm and a 5mm Allen socket, a 13mm, 15mm, and 21mm wrench, and an adjustable torque wrench. To begin your unpacking procedure, make sure you have plenty of room to work and cut the straps from the box. Then remove all parts that you can through the top of the box and begin to cut away the box from the bike, as shown in the video. Carefully remove all items that are taped into the styrofoam, the seat post, the front leg, and the back leg, the seat. Make sure all parts are accounted for before beginning this process. Once you have removed the box from around the bike, set the legs next to the bike and with the help of another person, move the bike onto the legs carefully. Now install the bolts that hold the front and rear legs on. Hardware needed to install each leg is in the assembly parts package. Two M10 by 55 millimeter bolts, two M10 by 65 millimeter bolts, four nuts and eight washers. The longer bolts go through the thicker portion of the leg. The shorter bolts will go through the thinner portion. Make sure that the wheels go on the front of the bike with the wheels facing forward. When installing the rear leg of the bike, position the leg so that the thicker end faces toward the front of the bike. Once you have all eight bolts started in the legs, using your adjustable torque wrench, tighten all the hardware securely to 85 inch pounds. Install the saddle and slider assembly onto the seat post by sliding the saddle on from the front of the seat post and sliding back. You will have to pull the pin down to move it into place, then release it when the number is between 0 and 9 on the seat. Now install the seat post into the cycle and install the seat post pop pin. Using a 21mm wrench or the supplied wrench, tighten the pop pin securely. If using the supplied wrench, to tighten the pop pin, wrap something around the tool to make sure the pin is seated tightly. Trying to install the pedals on the wrong side may damage the pedal and the crank arm. There is an L and an R marked on the end of the shaft to indicate the side of use for the pedal. Take caution to attach the pedals to the correct side of the bike. The left and right side of the bike are determined by the rider when they are on the unit. So if you are setting on the unit using it, your left will be the left side of the bike. Install the right side first as it will turn clockwise to install into the crank arm. Install the pedals onto the crank arms using a 15 mm opened in wrench and tighten securely. Use the emergency brake and or tension knob to help get the pedals good and tight by tightening the tension knob and then putting a downward push on the knob while tightening the pedal. Repeat the process on the left side of the bike, but remember, you will have to turn the pedal shaft counterclockwise to install it into the crank arm on the left side of the bike. Carefully position the handlebar post and slide it into the sleeve until the number 6 is exposed. Now tighten the pop pin so that the handlebar post is secure and install the handlebars to the post. Insert the socket headset screw into the handlebar. Start the bolt and do not tighten it at this time. Now insert the two screws into the front of the handlebar and snug them down but do not torque them at this time. Check for proper alignment of the handlebars using a 5mm hex wrench and tighten the screws using a 4mm hex wrench. Now tighten the set screw. Once you have all three tightened, use a torque wrench to verify that you have installed them all to 60 inch pounds. Before using the bike, recheck all bolts and make sure they are all tight or tighten to the proper torque specification and no parts are missing. Test the seat slide for movement from front to rear and check it by setting it at different settings. Check the seat to make sure it is level and tight. It does not rotate around or tilt. Test the seat post. Test the handlebar. 
to make sure they move freely and you are able to lock in at different positions. The flywheel will continue to spin after you pedal and the crank arms and pedals will rotate with the flywheel. Now pedal the bike at a moderate speed and push down on the emergency brake to check the emergency brake operation. Brake tension is adjustable using the red resistance knob in the front of the bike. Pedal the bike at a moderate pace and test for proper and smooth resistance changes while varying the amount of turns on the resistance knob. When the testing is complete, check the adjustment of the leveling feet to make sure that the bike is setting level. This concludes today's demonstration.